These are security tie-down straps that are harder to cut than a security cable about the size of your thumb. These cutters right here will cut this strap as they've been, you can see, they've been cutting the strap quite regularly. I can put the same in the piece of the strap here. Enjoy them. See it's closed. Huh? All right, so we've got to report that all paddlers are past poaching down there. They're on the home run. Steel's still intact. A lot of damage. This side's barely damaged, but a lot of damage. But the main thing is they did not get your board. Cool. How much are they? They're $97 for the 12-footers, which is the most common size for stand-up paddlers, paddlers. Uh, you can't say it's two or three boards. It depends on the spacing of the racks and how wide the boards are, whether they're in board bags. But for the most part, it will do three stand-ups if they're not in boards and the racks are face far apart where they're by the nose and the tail of the board. Um, they're also uh, for safety because they're easier to use. Meaning that they're easier to use, they're... Um, um, Easier to put on. Your standard tie downs are, are usually this type. There's a spring loaded to the cam. You have to push the button down or the cam down, you put it around your board, and then you got to try to thread it. When it's frayed like this, trying to get it in here while it's on your rack, it's a very difficult task. So, with our locking tie downs, we claim that they're one hand operable. And this is the hole that you have now I have to put it through. It's one inch. So you can put this through easy with one hand and thread the whole thing with one hand. You could have a board under your arm while you're putting your board on your car. You can always tighten it. Lock it if you want to. You don't have to lock it. But we do suggest you that you do lock it.